Bozeman residents invited city leaders Thursday morning to the intersection of 15th and Oak so they can see firsthand just how many people are running red lights in Bozeman. The reason we're here today is to observe people running red lights. Glenn Monahan and two other Bozeman residents watched in awe as a bus ran through the intersection seconds after a light had turned red. You catch that bus? Watch again as this bus goes clearly through the intersection at a red light. I knew that the situation was bad or that the problem was bad, but I was um, really quite surprised when I actually did a physical count. At the intersection of Oak Street and 15th Avenue, Monahan stood with pen in hand, watching as driver after driver ran through red lights during the morning rush hour. He was joined by City Commissioner Magic and Deputy Mayor Cunningham. Red light, red light, oh! two red lights. Two through Boom. on it. Oh my. To help lights change. Boom. Was that, that a red was light? Close. This is not the first time Monahan has been here. On October 13th, he counted 12 cars running a red light in 30 minutes during the morning rush hour, and then in the evening rush hour, he counted 22 cars. According to Bozeman Police, in 2021, they cited 107 drivers for red light violations. As of October 19th, 75 have been cited in 2022. Um, what we've tried to prevent are those serious and fatal crashes by reducing speed and conflicts at intersections. The city's transportation director says the city spends $50,000 on bike and pedestrian safety projects. Now they're looking to increase that. We propose doubling that to $100,000 a year and that's going to allow us to do more work uh, from a maintenance and expansion perspective. Monahan says while long-term goals are good, he wants to see more enforcement right away. I think action needs to be taken immediately. Monahan is hopeful that streets in Bozeman will be safer for drivers, bikers and all pedestrians. In Bozeman, Andrew Cedillo, MTN News.